I guess if I think about my three most valuable life lessons, the first one would be, you know, everything in our life comes down to our mindset. And I really believe that when you master your mindset and you master your self-talk, that anything is possible. I think the second life lesson, I guess, would be that I'd, I'd tell people just to forget about motivation, forget about this idea that you have to be externally motivated by some external source, you know, just forget about that and just focus on being consistent. And the third life lesson, I guess, would be to really start using the tool of gratitude because it's so awesome, it's free, it's easy, it's quick. And if you start your day off being grateful and showing gratitude, that's gonna instantly transform how the rest of your day turns out. And when I think about the legacy that I wanna leave behind, I guess it's just, you know, in, in hospital I read books by, by people who'd overcome adversity. You know, I, I read a book by Sam Bailey who's a farmer and he, he had a bad car crash and he became a quadriplegic and he managed to rise above all of that. And now he's the first quadriplegic in the world to fly a helicopter. And so I, I read his story and it really made me think, you know, if, if this typical Aussie bloke can rebuild his life, then I can too. So I think for my legacy, it, it'd be awesome that when people hear of my story, they think, well, if Therese's been able to rebuild her life and if Therese's been able to do an Ironman event, then that means maybe I could quit my job. Maybe I could learn a language. Maybe I could do a half marathon. You know, so I think if I inspire people to take action in their own lives, I think I'll be really proud of myself.